Hey, cheers everyone. Greg Young with Brick and Iron Beer Works. So a few weeks back on my Instagram page, I posted a uh, photo of this box that the guys over at Spike Bruin sent me. Didn't want to give too many details at the time, but I think now might be a good time to chat about it. Let's see what we got going. All right, so a little backstory of uh, my experience with Spike Brewing. So at the beginning of 2018, I ended up buying one of their seven gallon conical fermenters. Um, that year, 2018, I had goals to enter into the California State Fair, to enter into NHC, uh, a bunch of competitions down in Southern California and locally and uh, up here in Northern California. So I had goals to really enter some competitions and all four of my beers that I was really focusing on were lagers. So um, really trying to challenge myself last year and, uh, and see what I can make out of it. Ended up pulling a couple of golds out of California State Fair, pulling some other medals out of some other competitions. Um, but what really set me off was the NHC I ended up uh, taking two golds in the finals and getting the Ninkasi award. So uh, 2018 was really good and again, Spike Bruin was right there with me. Uh, my seven gallon conical fermenter, which you guys can kind of see right here, uh, brewed a lot of those batches and uh, everything turned out fantastic. So a little bit back, Spike Bruin hit me up. Uh, they seen some of the content I put out on my social media page and uh, gave me an offer of something they, uh, for a product that they're gonna be releasing soon. Um, of course, again, my experience with Spike Bruin has been nothing but positive, especially with my Conical that I bought. And uh, so yeah, I would love to uh, see what they got going and I, and I believe that they are definitely on the forefront of uh, the innovation game when it comes to uh, the stainless brewing equipment. So I said, of course, send me what you got and let's see what we got going. So. They sent me this, so without further ado, let's check out what we got. All right, so I wanted to introduce the Spike Brewing Flex Stainless Steel Bucket Fermenter. Um, this is a new product by Spike Brewing that they're releasing. Uh, it is a awesome stainless steel bucket fermenter with a cone. All of the accessories, as you can see, this thing is so awesome. Everything about this, bucket fermenter is, to me, exactly what my conical is. Just, you know, minus the one dump valve at the bottom. They are making a kind of a one-stop shop uh, and allowing you to customize as you see fit. Uh, I love that, I love that. They have two tri-clamp ports. Again, the welds, everything I've had from Spike Rune has been phenomenal. Um, perfectly clean sanitary welds, never had an issue. Uh, and I love that they included sanitary tri-clamp fittings. Um, one, this allows you, again, for the customizability. I measured the temperature of the beer, uh, so I need a thermal well. So a thermal well was an option that I wanted to add in. Also, uh, the valve it comes with is a three-piece ball valve. Great for most people. For me, again, I wanted something a little more sanitary, so I can opt for the butterfly valve. It's allowing me to run these different options that I may see fit depending on what I'm looking for out of my fermenter, uh, that really, really play to, I think, the strengths of Spike Brewing of what they're doing. It's having that flexibility that other brew fermenters uh, on the market don't have, um, especially when it can, again, with the bucket, uh, in this class of the bucket fermenters. It does not, they don't have that flexibility that allow you to choose what fittings you want based on whatever your needs are, your preferences and that sort. So again, Spike Brewing really hit it out of the park when it comes to that. Stainless, again, perfect quality. I inspected this thing inside and out. Don't see any issues. Uh, again, perfectly clean sanitary wells. Everything's grinded down and perfectly smooth. So no chance that you're gonna trap any bacteria anywhere in any hidden spaces. Also, the coolest thing I think about this is the lid. So with a lot of other uh, brew buckets, uh, you have to, if you were doing any type of dry hopping, uh, if you, let's say you maybe use a racking cane to get out, anything along those lines, you have to undo the lid uh, to have access to the beer. Uh, that's a huge giant opening for any chance of contamination. Um, also for oxygen, uh, which we know if you're, you, you want to keep at bay as much as possible. Um, so what Spike Bruin did is they include a four, tri four inch tri-clamp fitting with a clear uh, lid. So this way you can actually, one, for a cool factor, see your fermentation in top uh, when it's in your chest freezer or whatever the case. But also if you go to dry hop or if you need to get into the actual beer for whatever reason, 
you have a four inch opening instead of this taking off the entire lid of the bucket. Uh, to me, that's phenomenal because again, less chance with a smaller opening, less chance of contamination, less chance of oxygen getting in there. Uh, phenomenal. So really, really happy that they included that. I think that's such a cool feature. Um, has a opening for the airlock. Uh, this is perfect. This is all I use on my other stainless bucket fermenters. Um, it allows me to, when I go to transfer out, I hook a uh, hose to the tube inside the three-piece airlock, put a slight amount of pressure on it. I know it says do not exceed two pounds. Um, I'm not even close to that. I'm just enough trickling CO2 in just to kind of help the beer flow out uh, and not suck in oxygen, actually pulling in CO2. Um, so I love that. It's just, it's a perfectly simple setup. It works just as well as it should. Um, very happy with that so far. The legs on this thing, very stout, very sturdy legs. Uh, has a nice rubber um, foot pads on all three of the legs. Uh, this thing is solid. There is no give to this thing at all. I'm literally pulling it to get any type of uh, movement out of it. Um, but this thing is, again, solid as they come. Has your cone bottom. So this way you can get a lot of your yeast sediment and troop um, kind of flocculating, tropping, getting down there. Uh, so this way you can pull out of your sample valve as clean of a beer as possible. Um, I love that because it is nice with the conical fermenter, don't get me wrong, I do like being able to dump the yeast, especially if you reuse the yeast. Uh, you, I'm gonna say, you know, it's a little tougher to do it in here uh, than it is in a conical fermenter, but the how much I actually use the reuse the yeast isn't as often. What I'm looking for is I'm looking to get a compact cone, get everything down at the bottom nice and clean, uh, so this way when I'm racking the beer out into a keg, or my secondary or whatever I'm doing, I'm getting as clean of a product as I possibly can. So super happy with this fermenter. Uh, again, nothing, I can't say anything more positive about it. It's done everything I've wanted it to do. Uh, it's, um, it has all these cool features again with the sanitary tri-clamp, the uh, four, four inch valve or four inch opening at the top. Um, grips, everything about this thing is, is fantastic. If you are maybe looking at the conical fermenters, but also just seeing the price of these things uh, and kind of a little wary on dropping that kind of coin, take a serious look at the Flex Bucket by Spike Brewing. Uh, this thing is a fantastic fermenter. I truly believe that this thing is at the forefront of the stainless bucket fermenter uh, class. And for a cheaper price point than you're gonna get in the conical, but with all the awesome features that the conical comes with, I truly believe it's a contender. So take a look at it. Again, Spike, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you guys giving me this opportunity. Um, everyone out there, check it out. It's a pretty damn cool product. Cheers.